Every new special interview with Dr. Justin McCarthy continues with more on the recommendations to both sides in the whole historical debate. Dr. McCarthy urges Turkish people to be as reasonable as possible against this unjust campaign directed at them and advises Turkish people and governments to keep communication channels open with the European countries, United States and Armenia. I would hope that the Turkish government would be as reasonable as it can be. We have a saying about don't, shut, don't shoot off your nose to spite your face. In other words, I would hope that Turkey would not react in anger, but instead would react doing the absolute best thing politically for Turkey. Now that means that you may have to live with America even if America does the wrong thing. After all, no country in the world can forget about America. It, the worst mistake would be if Turkey decided, okay, America doesn't like us, Europe doesn't like us, so we're going to pull ourselves in. We're just going to be just us Turks. We're not. We're going to forget about the world. Terrible mistake, because the most important thing for Turks, like any people, is making sure your people have a good life, good jobs, good education, enough food, and that means you have to trade with the world. But surely, surely Turks have to let America know that they've insulted an ally, and they've made up history, and that they're just plain wrong. But you I mean, keep, of course, keep diplomatic relations, keep on talking. Stay with, stay with America because you have no choice. I mean, who are you going to rely with, Iran? What it comes down to is, even if America does stupid things, for Turkey's benefit, Turkey has to stand with America, at least to a certain extent. But for God's sake, tell those congressmen how bad they are and how wrong they were to do that. Tell them how sad you are, but don't throw stones at the American Embassy, please. Dr. McCarthy also said that the Armenian allegations have not served anybody throughout the history, and no benefit is expected to come out for the parties involved in the controversy. The only benefit that can come is if Turkey and Armenia forget about this past as part of history. I think they should get together. I think the proposal of the Prime Minister and the majority and, and the minority leader of, of, uh, of uh, Erdogan and Baikal together, the proposal to have a commission that would study is a very good thing. But I think that Armenians should, when they deal with Turkey, forget about all this genocide stuff. And Turks at the same time, forget about all of that kind of thing and say, what's best for our two peoples? For Armenians and Armenia, unquestionably, the best thing for them is to trade with Turkey. Unquestionably. So they should say, forget about all this hatred. Forget about all the history and leave Azerbaijan. I mean, if they want to talk about Karabakh, that's one thing. But they control a quarter of the, pop of the property in Azerbaijan, a quarter of the region. If they really want to be peaceful with Turkey, they should leave all that region in Azerbaijan and they should forget about all this political argument about genocide and just say we're going to be two countries that are next to each other, we're going to be friends, we're going to trade, we're going to go to each other's schools, we're going to learn. And then, once they become friends, pretty soon you're going to forget about all of this stuff. Not once people learn to live with each other. But of course that's idealism. I don't think that will happen. I don't think it will happen. I, I wish it were true.